to be honest, I feel like a sexy Parisian man. I feel like a sexy Parisian man. That Thank you for clicking on my thumbnail and welcome to my channel. My name is Shells and this is Miss Decor Cherie. Here on this channel, we will be discussing topics such as luxury, niche, and designer perfumes. If any or if all of these things interest you, please don't forget to hit on that subscribe button as I would love to have you be part of this perfumed community with me. Let's go ahead and get started. We'll be reviewing BDK Parfums Gris Chanel Extra, and to be honest, this is like no other fragrance that I have in my current collection. Gris Chanel Extra by BDK Perfumes is a woody, spicy, niche fragrance for women and men. This is a new fragrance that was launched in April of 2022. So just a heads up, I do not have the original Gris Charnel to compare this to because this is my first fragrance purchased with my own coins. And I'm excited to talk about this beautiful fragrance. So I do not own the original Gris Charnel, um, and I don't have a sample of it as well. So, the top notes for this, and I have the bottle right over here. So the top notes are cardamom essence, black tea extract, fig accord, and I believe the heart notes are absolute iris from Morocco, cystus essence, bourbon vetiver from madagascar the base notes for this is patchouli essence from indonesia vanilla absolute from madagascar sandalwood essence cedar essence from united states and tonka bean absolute so let's take a look at the packaging this took about two weeks to arrive from BDK and these are what came in the mail with it and they have a handwritten note so the perfume comes with this high quality sturdy box that resembles like book binding using natural ink and a recycled paper it has a sliding component and inside here is foam padding to secure the bottle. Onto the bottle itself, it's very weighted glass with angled edges. So this beautiful bottle cap is inspired by the dome of the Grand Palais in Paris, which was created by a master goldsmith in Paris. It's also very tightly fitted, so these parts can be carried by the bottle cap. However, I do not recommend that. All of these parts were made in France, and all of the perfumes in BDK Parfums, I think they share like similar designs, and similar packaging. I love the dark glass. This baby is just absolutely stunning. So when I smelled this around three weeks ago, this immediately takes me back to Paris. There's like this raw grit on the busy streets where there's like a mix of both retro and modern. It really does transport you to a place of escape for many Parisians. Like this bottle and the scent in this bottle is truly full of confidence. So let's go ahead and spray it. Look at that, look at that. Immediately I get hit with the cardamom sharpness and to be honest, I feel like a sexy Parisian man. I feel like a sexy Parisian man. That's the vibe. 
this is a vibe all the way y'all so i'm okay with feeling like a sexy parisian man there's like this beautiful cedar tea that i get hit with and I've been wearing it for three weeks now and what I love is that the story that this fragrance gives me. Oh my gosh. So there's this cardamom and tea but it blends into this creaminess of vanilla and fig and sandalwood and iris. And it's it really is powerful and it smells like a men's cologne right away. Uh, my colleagues who walked past me said that I smell sweet and I kept asking them what notes did they get and they said there was this like vanilla sweetness um, and for me after a few hours of wearing this I get this dry woody vanilla cardamom black tea. I've also been wearing this for the past four hours now so this was a refresher spray um, and the story that I get from from this this is so good oh my gosh there is this so like this is blended beautifully, okay? This is so sexy. It's dark, it's mysterious, and it reminds me of Paris, y'all. I highly recommend this fragrance. Seriously, this, the fig is like served with a steaming cup of black tea and a pinch of cardamom, which is the queen of spices, really. It's smoky and I get the smoky note in it and it's like full, full of like smokiness and I think patchouli as well. Oh my God. The tea accord grounds the ripeness of the figs and the heart reveals like this earthy iris absolute, assuming it's full powdery glory. Um, but it's not like the lipstick powdery, it's, just it kind of rounds the the fragrance together um there's this addition of this like leathery facet with structure and in there it gives me like this patchouli with hints of black tea in it let me let me smell the other arm that i had sprayed, sprayed this with about three hours ago so on here, it just smells like really sweet, really cedary, um, and I feel like a birch on there, and it's like velvety sandalwood, and on here, it's much stronger and much sharper right now because it's, it's I mean, I just sprayed it, um, but I noticed that after three hours, it blends into this nice skin scent. So the projectivity is there, but it's, um, it leans towards a skin scent after three hours. What I get is that there's this like woodsy foundation to this fragrance. And uh, I really like that. A lot of my collection is really sweet perfumes. So this is different and I'm so glad that this is a part of my collection. Oh mm, my gosh, you guys, you really have to try this. Gris Chanel Extra is a dark, smoky, fruity scent that is a different fragrance in my collection, like I've said before. I feel that this can be suitable for all seasons, including summer. Technically, I wear what I want, when I want, um, and for this fragrance, I feel like it's going to be just fine in any season. Uh, particularly in the fall and winter I think it'll grow but I do see myself wearing this in the spring and summer for sure um, this is definitely a forever fragrance and I think this bottle is going to last a very long time so like I said the longevity is about six to seven hours on skin with two to three sprays max I go one two three I never do my chest I think it's gonna be way too much because uh, this extra is concentrated at 30%. Gris Charnel Extra reveals the intensity of the original signature to extract a richer and more faceted version. A new creation where the woody essence of patchouli is invited and brings depth to the sandalwood and tonka bean that reveals themselves more textured and warm. Voluptuous vanilla underlines this trail with an ambery and smoked roundness. At the top, 
The freshness and the vibrant cardamom combines with the delicacy of fig with this green and fruity accent. A bright opening that illuminates the opulent note of the fragrance. This is a vibe all the way, y'all. So like I said, this does take me immediately back to Paris, back to the raw gritty streets, and it's mixed with both retro and modern. Um, I do see that um, when I wear this, I feel more confident. I think it is great for men and women. It is more masculine leaning. I am telling you the truth. Immediately, I felt like a sexy Parisian man. That's a vibe. Oh, that's a vibe, right? Gris Charnel x magnifies this for me um, as this Parisian sensuality. Uh, there is definitely some sexual presence around there when I smell. This, this fragrance is particularly fascinating um, because it has captured this like darkness, this mysteriousness, um, and it's just a beautiful, cozy, sexy scent that I think is appropriate for daytime or nighttime. So overall, what are your thoughts on Gris Charnel? Do you prefer the Gris Charnel, uh, Charnel original or do you prefer Gris Charnel Extra? If you have any recommendations, please leave a comment down below. I'd love to check on them as well. I cannot thank you enough for spending time with me, enjoying this perfume and checking out my review. Please don't forget to click on that like button if you enjoyed this video and leave me a comment so we can talk more about this. Stay healthy and aromatic, my dear, and I'll catch you on the next video. Have a fantastic day. Smell you later. Bye.